Hello, I'm Jay, owner of Volunteer Audio. Today we're on location at Thunderhead Harley-Davidson. We're picking up a new bike, but I wanted to show you this dealership. I want to show you the new bike we're getting to hang out. Thunderhead is located at the 407 exit. A lot of you that are familiar with visiting Sevierville, Pigeon Forge, Gatlinburg, maybe you're going to ride the tail of a dragon, go to the Foothills Parkway. You're very familiar with this location. You need to stop in, but check out the video. You're going to love this new bike we're getting, and we'll go over some of the upgrades we have planned in the future for that bike. All right, so right behind me, I have the new bike we came here to pick up. I'm gonna tell you more about that, but first I wanna introduce you to Kevin Hearn. Kevin is the assistant sales manager here at Thunderhead Harley-Davidson and Kodak. I'm gonna let him tell you a little bit more about their dealership, because I want you to come visit when you're in the area, and he's also gonna tell us a little bit more about the bike we're getting. So Jay's already mentioned Thunderhead Harley-Davidson. We're right off of the 407, right off of I-40. Here, if you're coming to Pigeon Forge in Sevierville, Gatlinburg area to do any riding, we've got some of the best riding in the country right here at our back door. So please come by and see us. We are a full service dealership. Um, we've got an award winning service department. Uh, we've got a great parts department. And of course, uh, new and pre-owned Harley Davidson's right here. We'd love for you to come and see us. Um, I haven't been excited about new bikes like I have this year in a very long time. They have totally redesigned the touring bike um, from this one, the shark nose fairing to the rear, completely different. The bags, the audio that Jay's going to talk about, the 117 um, stock motor. There's so much that Harley Davidson has done. We could talk about it, but the best thing that you can do is to come in and take one of these uh, for a demo ride. With a valid motorcycle uh, endorsement, you can demo, demo one of these 2024s. Uh, so come and see us. Uh, if you're in the area, if you're doing any uh, work with volunteer audio, uh, just come in and take one for a demo and see what you think about them. Um, we'd love to uh, we'd love to love to see you here. All right, so like Kevin just just mentioned, we're so blessed to live in such a beautiful area. Absolutely. And when you're in here visiting, when you're here at Volunteer Audio, whether you're picking up a system or maybe you're in for install and you want to go up to the Smoky Mountains and you want to do one of these beautiful rides, this is going to be on your way. So it's easy to stop by. It's easy to check the bikes out. Come in for a shirt, leave with a Harley, you know, maybe a poker chip. Time. It's going to happen. <laughs> Uh, I think it's an awesome value. These new 24s, it seems like the price is better than it was on the 23s. Yes. Uh, yes. And it seems like we're getting more for our money. I love the new look. I love the fact that we've got awesome LED lighting. You've got that huge display that really just brings these bikes into the future. It makes them look a lot more modern. Yes. Uh, every one of these, cues, these design cues, I knew people are scared of change. And when they came out and we bought the CVOs over and over and over in all the groups, people said, I don't know that I like the new look. I don't know if I like the new look. I'm like, great, because there's not so many of these to buy. And, and hopefully about the time that we get ours, we get everything developed, then people will realize, oh, my bike's looking a little older now that right. I've compared it. Because I've got a 14 electric glide police and sitting it next to the new road glide, the new street glide we've already got, it's gotten very dated very quickly. Absolutely. And I didn't, I didn't realize that was gonna happen. <laughs> I thought, well, that, that bike's still gonna look the same, but no, really it's made it look older. But I'm excited about this bike, and uh, one of the main reasons we're buying this bike, this is a base model. This is what we expect the majority of people to buy, to start to improve upon, to start to upgrade. And unless people like Volunteer Audio purchase bikes and develop those parts, you're not going to have a lot to pick from. The new Skyline Radio has been a challenge. We bought the Platinum CVO Street Glide and the Whiskey Neat Road Glide to really dive into the system, but that particular bike comes with that Rockford factory system. So it had a 500 watt amp, even though they kind of overshot that power and it was way under that, uh, we saw there were huge improvements we could do on that audio system. Well, we knew when this came out, it was gonna be way, way worse because this is a base model. The Skyline radio though, in this case, doesn't have an amplifier in it. There's no audio output whatsoever. And that's created an issue. Either you've got one of two ways to upgrade. You either have to take the signal after the amplifier, you gotta feed it into a digital signal processor to fix some of the EQ problems we pointed out in earlier videos. By doing that though, your amp's in the fairing, 
the new DSP you added is in the fairing. Now your new amp also has to go into the fairing. And if you start cut, cutting, chopping, and modifying inside of here, your warranty is probably not going to stay intact. <laughs> so we had to develop a new part. It's an A to B interface because this radio, it doesn't put out sound. There's no low level outputs. There's no high level outputs. It's a digital signal called A to B. It's just two wires that are transferring a digital audio signal to the amplifier. Fade, EQ, balance, all of that's in the amp. None of that's in the radio. Even though you're selecting it from the radio, it's not in it. So our new part, we've worked about six months. We've invested a lot of money and a lot of time. Kind of jumped the gun, did this before the bikes came out. Our new interface is weeks away from being available for us to launch another video, show you how it works, to launch pre-orders for you to be able to purchase it. But we wanted to get this bike in because this bike is so bad compared to the Rockford system. It has the same five and a quarter inch speaker that we had in the older bikes, had the GTS radio. The 200 watt amp that's in the fairing is equivalent to what was in the radio, and nobody ever leaves out of here happy with the exhaust. I was going to say, that's or the, the audio system. That's one of the first things <laughs> they do is they change the uh, they change the exhaust, but then they can't hear the radio. Right, so right. So that as well. we're planning on doing some Chromeworks exhaust upgrades. That'll happen right away, which will make this even worse. And then we'll be doing probably Hertz speakers. We've got a couple other brands we're going to test as well. We'll do a good video series on it. But we wanted to get ahead of the game. We're developing cut-in lid kits to add speakers to the factory lids. We've got harnessing we have to develop. We had the interface had to be developed, but we're doing this very, very quickly. I keep getting people are calling me going, hey, do you have anything for that new road glide yet? Do you have anything for the new street glide yet? I'm like, it's been out a month. <laughs> you know, we really didn't even have one to look at till four weeks ago. Right. So I think we're way ahead of the game. I think things are going to turn out awesome. I want you to remember when you're in the area to stop by Thunderhead. They've got a great selection of motorcycles. They've got a great team here, a great staff. They'll let you test ride if you want to. But you also have all the other accessories and gear here that you may want to check out as well. If nothing else, stop by, get a poker chip, show that you've been up here in the Smokies and you've stopped by. They used to be uh, really your, your partners, or I, we're not really partners, you are... We're, we're part of a Smoky Mountain okay. Davidson <laughs> family of dealerships. Yeah. Um, we have locations in Maryville. A lot of people know the shed that's there, live music, um, good food, great place. Rocky Top, Harley Davidson. It's over located in Sevierville. I um, mean, then we have several outposts. We have one right on 129. If you go to Ride the Dragon, those dealerships actually open up this weekend. They'll be open up every weekend through the month. Of March, and then we're in we're in the riding season. So now, so it's right upon us. Also, last year you did a new rally, all right? The yeah, Smoky Mountain Rally, and it's going to be happening every year. That's correct. So September 29th is the first day. It's the last weekend through the first week of October, and so if you're planning on coming down and uh, and riding during that, again, there'll be a lot of rides coming up to Thunderhead and riding through the Smoky Mountains. Again, yeah, we're very blessed. We've got some of the best riding. <laughs> I think it's really cool. Because this isn't a rally like a Daytona rally or a Myrtle Beach rally or even a Panama rally. This isn't bar to bar to bar to bar. Right. This is come view some beautiful areas. Go on those rides. They'll have guided rides. You got vendors here. We're, we're going to be set up somewhere. I'm not sure yet where we're going to be. Are you going to have vendors at your location as well? We will not, but we will at the, at the Maryville location. Okay. So the main, the main spot is going to be in Maryville. It's going to be where the shed is. Uh, that's where they're going to have the majority of the vendors. So definitely make that time, plan your trip, have your vacation, and go on these rides. It's great to go on these guided rides. Yes. If you like to ride, the one complaint that we got last year uh, was the rides were too long. <laughs> and so, that, you know, that's that's a good problem. But we've, we've adjusted that because it was our first year, and so our marketing team and other people got together. Yeah. And so we're going to have still the riding, but maybe cut some of them back just a little bit. We've All got right. a great team, good group well, of people. It's been a very, very easy experience here from picking out the bike to getting the bike. Kevin, thank you for hey, yeah. allowing us to come here and get it. Uh, thank you for coming with us while we get it. And uh, like I say, if you're looking for a bike, we've, we're blessed to have a bunch of great dealers in our area. But definitely don't forget about Thunderhead when you're making that decision. Absolutely. We'll see you here. We'll see you on the road. All right. Thanks, Kevin. Appreciate it. Hey, hey.